The TV industry has invested millions of dollars in the latest computer software to be able to zoom in and out and manipulate the picture in any number of ways. Well, now police and prosecutors are using similar technology to go after criminals. You may have seen this video recently of two arsonists setting fire to a building in Fort Worth. Before it was broadcast, the video was enhanced, the jittery picture stabilized inside this lab at the Tarrant County District Attorney's Office one of only four such facilities in the country. Uh, we're trying to make it as cutting edge as possible. DA Joe Shannon says it's solving crimes. This video seized from a suspect's cell phone helped convict seven gang members of brutally murdering a man in San Antonio. We're able to, uh, uh, with good uh, work from some of our folks, uh, make license plate numbers visible, make uh, features of uh, perpetrators uh, visible that wouldn't otherwise be. And that's really what uh, a lot of what this lab is doing. This is the video as received from the uh, store. In some cases, video analyst Mark Porter takes videos that are unwatchable and clears them up. This shows a shoplifter leaving a store. So you can actually see that one camera view. In Lubbock, Porter enhanced a police patrol car video to show a man had raised a gun at officers before they shot him. In Fort Worth, video captured the missing hood ornament on a murder suspect's car and even the unique baseball cap one of the suspects was wearing. Prosecutors later used the pictures to help convict two brothers of the crime. Not everything caught on camera is solved so quickly. In that arson video, for example, Porter is still working to find details that are hard to see now. Once we start doing some more in-depth analysis on it, we, can, uh, we may be able to adjust the contrast a little bit to maybe get some more details of the vehicle. As DA Shannon points out, it's hard to go anywhere these days without ending up on a camera somewhere. Police are now getting the most of all that video, making it a lot harder for criminals to hide. Scott Gordon, NBC5, Fort Worth.